Hey, what's up everybody? It's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on using Studio Drummer inside Studio One. What's up everybody? It's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions. Um, this is a user request video from Kenny Razor on the um, Studio One forums. He wanted to know about how to uh, use um, Studio Drummer inside Studio One and more specifically how to bring um, the, the preset grooves onto the arrange window, um, which is actually which is actually it seems easy but there's there's a little trick to it so we're gonna use the um the abbey road 60s kit um basically if you know if you don't have complete and you're watching this this is um these are really cool um libraries what they did is they went ahead and they went inside abbey road and they um they took actual you know drum drum kits from the 60s and ran them through you know all these different signal chains that were you know authentic to their studio um you know when they were making all those hits and they went ahead and um turned it into a software instrument and gave it to us um so you know you have your you, you have your mixer window you have your kit window you have uh, different velocity options that you can use and then you have this window which is um your groove browser and you know you have your different genres here and um and then you click on these and then you can see you're given all these different grooves so there's i, I think there's something like two or three hundred when it's all said and done um so we'll just go ahead and you know see what you might use this for um so to select one you could just be in the browser and go here or you could thumb through them like this and you can audition them just by hitting play Okay, easy enough, right? Um, now say, you know, say I like this one. And I wanted, and I wanted to build a track around that. Um, you know, I would want to, the, you know, the way that I work is I would want to have that um, in this MIDI window. So, um, you know, you could try dragging it and it doesn't really work out. There's a trick to it. What you have to do first is you have to go back to the kit window and you have to, you have to click this, this, um, button right here, select by MIDI. It'll turn yellow. Then once you've done that, any, anything that you've selected inside of this, um, inside of this groove, All you have to do is click and hold this little compass right here, drag it on to the track where you have contact inserted, and then the MIDI notes for that will come up. And then, um, you know, it's as easy as that. You could copy the region and then go into piano roll and you know just start making you know start making your changes that you want to do whenever you switch up so
you know, and then, uh, you know, at this point now, now you can use the samples inside Studio Drummer and you could be creative and you can, you know, take a preset loop and really make it your own, which is, you know, what you want to do with any preset. So once you, um, you know, once you look at it and analyze it and you really see what you have here, you know, and you kind of think about the other features inside Studio One, you know that you can use um, your groove tool and you can extrapolate these grooves and say you wanted to use this hi-hat groove. You know, you're like, man, that sound really good on this hip hop track where my hi-hats are really straight. Um, you know, you could take this, turn it into a groove template and, you know, use this and use these parameters to quantize you know some stiff hats and get a really nice live feel um so using studio drummer and studio one together when you think outside the box can be really powerful there's a lot of things you could do with it um, if you guys want to see more videos about it you know just request in the comment box um but yeah if this video helped you out you know like it subscribe to the channel um say something in the comment box if you want to see something else with the native instrument stuff i'm really good with all that and uh, this is concrete zebra craft master productions and we'll see you on the next one